this is still day 23, even though, it, <laughs> even though this is part three of the video and it's only 8, 28 in the morning. Uh, we are now headed out of the Grand Canyon. We're a, <laughs> we it sounds like there. we're like at the bottom like ascending to the top or something. <laughs> we're driving out of the park. Yes, and um, we have had an amazing time at the Grand Canyon. Oh my goodness, and um, we're headed to Phoenix now, and uh, we're all checked out of our hotel, we uh, hit the gift shop, <laughs> and um, we just, it seriously blew my mind. It was very grand. It does not disappoint. I could literally <laughs> stand and stare at it for the rest of my life and I would be content. Yeah, it was the sunrise this morning that you will get to see, you hopefully already saw in part two, <laughs> but I haven't uploaded them at this point in time, um, but that was amazing, oh my gosh, just like, it was very, very spiritual, spiritual. experience, it was incredible, and like I, I got out of the car at one viewpoint to take a picture, and I like went up to the edge, and it was just so quiet, and it was just like so dead quiet and then the sun it was like red off in the distance oh my gosh yes i just like got the chills it was incredible there are no tourists yeah. up for the sunrises no they no here for the sunsets they i know they're all over the place for the sunsets but the sunrise that's really what what separates the men from the boys <laughs> so are we men or boys uh, I, I believe we're, we're men we, are we? We are men. <laughs> we be men. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Also, I have to share a few things. Now that we're out of that zone of the Grand Canyon where I felt like I just had to respect Whisper. God's beautiful world and just not even say a word, just take it all in. But yesterday, um, we hit all the viewpoints pretty much. And we went to, after that, we went to a legit um, Navajo. Um, stand where they sell all these types of things we got a cool really they had such pretty usually I'm not really a jewelry person but they had some beautiful stuff there and there was like this little Navajo dog that was like chewing on my shoelace <laughs> <laughs> it was really awesome and little Navajo children running around barefoot it was like the legit like yeah. dang like where's the TV it was so cool um, so we got some stuff there and also yesterday oh <gasps> The, okay, so you remember that big old storm that was coming in? Oh dang, oh dang, oh, dang. so it, it came in, oh it came in, <laughs> and uh, we watched from this one, the same viewpoint we were at this morning to see the sunrise, we watched this storm come in yesterday, and what did the guy, the tour guide call that, right, sheets of rain? The curtains, right. the curtains, the curtains, yeah. no, 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 there was a name, there was a special name for it, I don't I'm okay. I'm gonna have to look this up. Maybe have to Google. <laughs> yeah, you could Google that. <laughs> but um, it, he said it was really rare, and uh, these like sheets of rain that were coming down, we could see off in the distance. It was actually at, at one point it was like sunny where we were, and then like raining off in the distance. But some rain like evaporated before it hit the ground. It was it was spectacular. Yeah, it and then there was lightning and thunder, <laughs> and I got a really epic picture. Should I, should I tell? Yeah, should I share? Yes. yes. Um, okay, so I'm just like, I'm there with the camera, that, this wonderful camera, and um, this wonderful camera, <laughs> and uh, I'm going, oh, I'm going to get a picture of lightning. Yeah, Melinda, okay, you're going to get a picture of lightning. Good luck. So um, we're watching the storm, and I have this, this sucker right here on sport mode. <laughs> Heck yeah. And um, I basically, I look back at all the pictures, and there's this one picture I got of this, like, this whole lightning bolt striking in the Grand Canyon and there are like sheets of rain in the background and it's like a lightning bolt that like curls around and like it goes from the cloud to the ground and, <laughs> and it's amazing and yeah it was like a once in a lifetime shot so awesome and then um oh two more things to talk about okay. here we got lots of stuff to talk about here people uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I don't know why I call you people <laughs> it just comes out. And my viewers, my wonderful, yes. beautiful, and handsome, so the guys don't feel bad, <laughs> viewers. Yes. Um, we, well, first of all, the elk. The elk. The first night, okay, not last night, but the night before, <laughs> we're not going to go through the lemon and the pickle song. <laughs> um, oh, we were, 
Uh, okay, we, we kind of, we were like, where's the hotel, where's the hotel? The directions were a little funky. We drove around for a little while. And, um, no GPS. Yeah, Sally bellied up on us, so yes. no, no GPS. My phone was all confused. Yeah, smartphone, <laughs> dumb phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, excellent phone because it's videoing right now. Um, and we were, it was dark. And Very. yeah, and so we were seeing, you know, some wildlife was out. And I'm like, oh gosh, there's like, there's like elk like right there. They were seriously like where my phone is right now. <laughs> they were so close. And uh, I was so excited. So I get the camera. And I go to take a picture, and it goes, me, 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 and it like won't take the picture, and I'm like struggling. And this, I had been saying, oh, I want to get a picture of an elk, and so the ray it like all up in my grill, <laughs> and I can't take a picture of them. And then there were people behind us, so we had to keep going. And then oh my gosh, I was die laughing because finally there were all these elk up in my grill, and I still couldn't get a picture. It was like literally in my face. Um, but today, on the way back from this, the yes, this morning, on the way back from the sunrise, we saw we saw a bunch of a bunch of bucks. <laughs> it was about six thirty. Yeah, it morning. was about six thirty, and yeah. we pulled up, and literally they were they were so close. I could see like the fur on their little horns. Yeah. It was really cool, and so I got I got that picture. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, oh, also one more thing. Last night at the, we watched the sunset. Um, we hit, oh yeah, two sunsets and one sunrise at the Grand Canyon. We we fit it all in. We look for the out of the way places yes. for the tourists. We do. We look we yeah. look for the out of the way places. Um, so we were at this one viewpoint, and we were watching the sunset. It was gorgeous, and um, there we realized there were a lot of people around us who were like, "Wash oh, you know, like all like speaking all kinds of different languages, and it was really cool. Um, so anyways, we started joking that, oh, like, if we were speaking some other language, they wouldn't even know the difference, you know? And so we ended up kind of making, not, well, making up our own language, and just kind of, like, we'd look at each other. Should we demonstrate? Oh. Like, we'd be looking at the Grand Canyon, we'd go, oh, mishmash no na fita ba. Yes, ba. Oh, oh so ba. Yes, So, we made, and we would die laughing, and there were, um, people, I think they were from Germany or something. And they walked by and they were looking at us like, where do you think those people are from? <laughs> and you have to put the like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the Mishnach no. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were saying that we should just combine all the different languages, like, you know, from Pig Latin to Spanish to, you know, Dutch to, um, you know, Bushmen. So it's like Mishna no de na So we had some fun with that. Being um, being foreigners last night at the sunset, we were. And I think that's really. I think I've covered it. I think that's about. I think I've covered it. I'll let you see what we're going through now. It's not quite as exciting as the Grand Canyon, but we are traveling. We are en route, en route to Phoenix. And then it's crazy to think we are going to be there for two, two nights. So tonight and then tomorrow night, and we're going to be going to Make a Wish. And then it, so not tomorrow, but the next day, we're gonna be in LA. Wow. We're gonna be back in Cali. <laughs> like, full on, like, almost made the whole loop. Almost. Day 23. Yes. It's just getting better and better. Let's see, we've gone 3,315 miles, is how far we've gone so far. Yeah, so we've, we've gone quite a ways. <laughs> and it's been epic. epic. Epic for the spread of hope, epic for me personally, mm -hmm. in just my. Sorry, it was roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting all philosophical and it's roadkill. Okay. <laughs> well, like I said, it's been really amazing, it's been amazing for not only the spread of hope and, and other people, but just for us and our mm -hmm. just Spirits. traveling gives you a gain of worldly wisdom and just like those your spirit. Yes, it does. Amazing. And amazing. yeah, it really does. Yes. Oh look, it's the Flintstones. <laughs> Tour Bedrock City. Hey, there's Fred. They got a gift shop and oh, Campy too. Fred. Oh, there's Fred! Welcome Dude, I am so excited. Oh, bedrock City. It's Bedrock! <laughs> <laughs> we Check might have to go. Buffalo Lodge. Yabba Dabba Doo! <laughs> Yabba Dabba Doo! <laughs> <laughs>
Bye guys. <laughs>